Hello Georgie Burns here today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. To make this card we are using a few stamp sets. We're going to be using Beautiful Promenade and we're just going to use this image and this image. Itty Bitty Birthdays which is a new ca uh, stamp set in the seasonal catalogue or occasional catalogue I should say. And we're just going to use Birthday Wishes. We're also going to use the handwritten background stamp which is in the annual catalogue and we're also going to use mistletoe season I know Christmas is finished but I want to use that little tiny image there instead of these leaves here I want to use the tiny image I'm also changing the colour to blueberry bushel one of the in colours, I've never used it so I want to use that and I've also cut out my butterfly he's here so to get started you will need a card base of 5 and 7 eighths by 4 and, no, 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths scored and folded at 4 and 1 eighth and two pieces of white card stock at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths Right, to get started we need to mount our big stamp and you'll need a um, piece of copy of paper at the same size as the card five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and cut out a piece an aperture to any shape you want I've chosen a squiggly rectangle and we're going to use crumb cake I know my crumb cake needs re-inking but I'm not doing it until after I've done this card and we just rub it on and lift it off and you'll get a very faint well faint in my case but I would have stamped off first if my ink was the full strength but because it's not I didn't need to stamp off first and once I finish filming I shall re-ink it right that's that one used put that away and we'll take off the uh, back in and I'm going to put it back in here because I can use that again right and with our blueberry ooh, bushel ink and with a bit of fluff on it by the looks I am going to start stamping so with I'm going to put it down two thirds of the way down never really use this colour so I don't know if I'm going to like it And then with the long one, I'm going to put that to the side of it, quite close. Hopefully it's not touching. Nah, it's not touching. And then with that sp tiny sprig bit out of the 
Christmas catalogue we are just going to add it randomly about We do need one here. Oops. There. Hmm. Covered in blue ink. And then with the birthday wishes, I'll place this underneath. Now this stamp is not in a straight line. To me it doesn't look straight but it is straight on here. I think it's just the way it's designed. The letters aren't all in a straight line. They're all over the place. So that's the front done. Now for the, I'm trying to be careful because I'm covered in blue ink. And with the straight one, we'll place one of them at the bottom. Turn it round. And place one for the top. And there we have it, all our stamping done. Get rid of this. And get a wet wipe. Just so I don't get ink where I'm not supposed to get ink. And we'll put this card together. So, get my glue. I'll put the inside in first. quite pretty actually and glue the front on With the butterfly, I'll just hold the body and lift the wings. And what I am going to do, I did it in a previous video, I think you would have seen that video by now, where I did a grey and white card with a butterfly on it. What I do is put a bit of very thin dimensionals near the other side of the fold, not the body side, the wing side of the fold, so that when it goes down 
it won't get completely flattened in the post. So, bit of glue on. Oh, yeah. Take the backings off. That would help, wouldn't it? And place that just there. And then all it leaves us to do is put some gems on the butterfly. Just three on this butterfly. On the other one I think I put gold. But this one I do silver with the blue. there we have it. One in blue and one in green. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the notification button, bell, and you'll be notified of any more um, videos I upload, which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday and all I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!